And if you're in the kitchen looking around thinking, hmm, this might be the year when I finally do something with it. Well, Kieran Darcy from Kieran Darcy Kitchens is here with Ideas Galore. Good morning. Hello, Will. Good morning. How are you? I'm in great form and yourself. Good stuff. Not too bad now. Not too bad at all. Of course, you were at the Midlands 103 inaugural Green Home at Energy Show in 23. That's You're right. coming back for 24? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, no, we found it actually very successful uh, last year, even up to recently, because um, I always ask customers, how did you hear about us or who recommended us or whatever? And still up to this day, we're getting um, people who said, yeah, should I visit you at the show last year? And um, we got brochures off you. And um, yeah, we're still getting work from it this very day. Excellent. And of course, you'll be back with some new ideas and fresh concepts for 2024. Can we talk about storage? Because I know that was a big talking point last year and always is, even when Brian Clunan is here on the Wednesdays. Nobody hears that because they don't listen to him. But storage solutions in the kitchen. Does it involve a full, massive redesign or are there uh, practical, simple things you can do? Yeah, it's changed so much, Will, in the last, um, say, four or five years, this storage solutions. Before this, it was presses with shelves and maybe a set of drawers, where now, I suppose, with the help of the internet and Facebook and Instagram, people are coming to me with all these different types of, say, blind corner pull-outs, pop-up sockets, um, pull-out carousels and all sorts of pop-up and pull-out mechanisms um, so as they can maximise their kitchen or wardrobes or whatever sort of units mm. to, to, to the last. Um, and as I say again, with the, with, with, with the benefit of the internet, uh, it's probably making our job a little bit more difficult as well because these people have done months and maybe years in researching this stuff. So uh, we have to give them what they want um, or they won't be happy. That's basically it. So a little bit of imagination on how you construct... And are we talking retrofits to kitchens or do you have to factor these in from scratch? Well, we do both, but um, sometimes we would have customers saying, there's a corner here. Um, I have no idea what's in it. I haven't seen the pots and pans that's in the back of that for mm. the last five years. Can I get some sort of a mechanism that when you open the door, that this uh, shelf comes with it? And there's one particular one for a corner. It's a kidney shaped. When you open the door, this comes out in a soft close and then when you're finished with it, you just start it off the process in going back in and it goes back in on its own and all that type of thing. We have the carousel that twirls around. around. Yeah. If I'm honest, yeah. the stuff at the back yeah. still stays yeah. at the back. It wouldn't be one that we would be promoting at all would be the round carousel. It's the one, the kidney shaped one that goes into a blind corner. Uh, that's the one that we would use and we have it in most of our, on our videos. On Facebook and Instagram as well, here on Darcy Kitchens. Um, if you wanted to check us out, you'll see all them. And I suppose that's where the bit of advice comes in handy because you can look at the idea on paper and think, that's great. And then only in practice do you discover, and I'm not really using that. So coming back to design, are people persuaded by the elaborate, crazy concepts or is the bread and butter still simplicity? The way it is compared to the way it was, um, say when we started out first um, making kitchens, which is 25 years ago now, um, it was a, a lot of fussy stuff and there was pens over windows and there was little open quads uh, at the ends of where the, pre where the presses would finish. There would be play racks, there would be wine racks, there'd be all sorts of stuff. Um, what a lot of people would call them is dust collectors. So that is not what people want at all anymore. What people want now is just very, very simple stuff. Uh, the skinny shaker door is probably the most popular door. Um, they want no open stuff. They want nothing over windows. Um, there's even lots of cases where they don't even want wall units anymore, where they might have a complete wall of all tall stuff um, and then just take off with worktop and plenty of drawers and stuff. Um, that's the way it's gone. It's simple, clean lines, no fuss, and less detail. That's 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 the way people are asking for mm. stuff now. Manny's an argument has been had over worktops and the material. So what's king at the moment? Um, I, if you'd have asked me this question maybe 10 years ago, I would have said people would adore solid wood worktops. Now they have come around to see that there's too much maintenance on this stuff. If you leave down a, a boiling hot saucepan on top of a solid oak or walnut worktop, that's going to leave a, a white ring of a burn mark. People are 
now looking for more and more of quartz worktops and um, with a little upstand behind of maybe 120 or 30 mil doing the window board in the same material and believe it or not not tiling mm -hmm. the reason for that is in two or three years time if you decide you want to give it a bit of a change you can paint the walls and um, your tiles are not there taking over the whole lot sometimes uh, people i hear them complaining that the grout can get dirty in the tiles um, but most customers now, it's quartz worktops, a little upstand, the window board done to match, and then paint up over it. And the only place that there would be a high piece of quartz would be behind the cooker as a, a splashback. Um, but that would be our most popular worktop if people uh, want to spend that money would be quartz. And then, of course, for people that don't, there's a quartz effect worktop uh, with matching upstands. Looks like it's quartz. Uh, but you can't leave down a burning hot saucepan on top of it or you will get destroyed. Mm. What about colour? For instance, I've seen black worktops that when clean are stunning. But after a while, little nicks and scratches, they show up on black more than any other colour. I cannot tell you the last time that a person actually picked a black worktop with us. Um, no, it was the craze maybe 15, 18 years ago, black worktops. Now what people are going with, Will, is um, say with a door, they would be going with maybe a light grey or sometimes even a light green colour door. But then going back to your original question with the worktop, a Carrera maybe quartz worktop, which is white with a grey grain. Um, that's what they're going with. R most of our customers will be going with a light worktop um, and keeping the door generally fairly light as well. You will have the odd cust customer then that does want an alarming colour and can look very well if the light is coming mm. in in the right way into the kitchen and all that type of thing. But uh, light worktops generally black. I cannot tell you the last time they're fitted with us. Um, and then when you're going with the quartz worktops, of course, you can have an undermounted sink with the, the draining board is carved into the worktop then. Um, so it makes the worktop look bigger as well when you're not looking at a stainless steel sink um, over the worktop. Appliances. 20 years ago, Celtic Tiger, everybody was <clears> putting in agas. <throat> then the recession came and it was Fisher Price. Where are we now? Um, yeah, so I suppose what people uh, love is Range Master is a very popular make for people that are putting in big new kitchens and um, maybe they, they come generally in three measurements, 900 millimeters, a meter wide or 1100 wide Range Master. Uh, a lot of them are putting in then either big American fridge freezers or maybe a separate fridge and a separate freezer. Of course, they can be left freestanding as in uh, side by side that you can see the fridge freezer or they can be left uh, that do, they can be integrated. So it looks like let's call it a double door pantry or a double door larder. But really when you open up the two doors, it's actually a fridge and a freezer that's there. Actually, it's funny you asked me that question. Um, I've seen a very funny one here just before Christmas. We had a customer and they were using a freestanding fridge freezer, but um, he showed me, and I didn't actually know about this, but there was a built-in camera in the fridge. And the reason that this is meant to be used is so as if you're coming home from work in the evening time uh -huh. and uh you can't you can't remember whether you have butter or no butter or four butters or the same with milk or whatever so there was a built-in camera in it but what he didn't expect was when uh, this was actually a saturday evening and when he went on the camera he seen a strange arm go into the fridge freezer and instead of um, eggs coming out of it. It was a bottle of Budweiser to come out of it. Um, oh. I, I couldn't believe it when he told me. It was actually his 17-year-old son was bringing a couple of bottles with him for his HP that he was caught. Uh, caught rotten. Caught rotten. I thought it was the best ever. He actually told the story in in front of his son. We all got a great laugh out of it. Photographic evidence as well. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There, there's actually fridge fridges now with cameras in them and, of course, ovens you can turn on or Wi-Fi all that kind of yeah, stuff. Once just... they're just looking in and not out, or you get caught in the yeah. act in the kitchen as <laughs> well. You know? That is true. That's the truth, Will. So, unfortunately, time is of the essence here. You will be at the Midlands 103 Green Home and Energy Show 2024 in the Tullamore Court Hotel. And anybody wishing to pick your brain outside of that can find you how? Um, yeah, so a couple of ways. Facebook and Instagram, Kieran Darcy Kitchens, Kieran with a C. Um, you can email us then if you want, then at uh, darcykitchens at gmail.com or you can contact us. You can ring me directly 
on 086 8519626. Kieran uh, Darcy. And what we'll do is we'll call out to you. We'll listen to what you have to say. We'll listen to what you'd like to factor into your kitchen or wardrobe or sitting room or whatever. We'll do up 3D drawings, um, complimentary, get you to come to the showrooms out in Balnagar. Uh, we'll price it up. We'll show you all the different materials that you can pick from. And we'll try and make your life as simple as possible and liaise with all the other tradesmen that's going to be working in your house, Will. Carol, fantastic. Thank you very much for making time for us. Thanks very much, Will. Thank you.